Hey guys, welcome. This is the question I asked on LinkedIn. You have been provided with latches. Is it possible to make a flip flop using them? If yes, how? If no, provide a proper reason. So let's see the answer. But first, you need to understand the difference between a latch and a flip flop. Generally, latch is level triggered, while flip flop is edge triggered. So the thing is, whenever there is a positive level or negative level, the latch will absorb the change in the input to its output, or the latch will propagate the input to the output whenever there is a level. If it is propagating at positive level, it is called as positive level tends to latch. If it is propagating at negative level, it is called as negative level tends to latch. While well, coming to a flip flop, it only propagates the data at the edge. If it is propagating at the rising edge, it is called as rising edge triggered. If it is propagating at the falling edge, it is called as falling edge trigger. So this is the basic difference between a latch and a flip flop. Now, you have been provided with latches. Now you need to make a flip flop out of it. So this is the solution. You need to connect latches in master slave configuration. So for this, you need to use two types of latches. One is Post level latch and another one is negative level latch. If you observe the circuit, this is the first latch. Sorry, this symbol is incorrect. Yeah, now it is. This is the first latch and clock is connected to this. Since I have not provided any negative sign, this is post level latch. And the same clock is going to the second latch. This is negative level latch. Latch means it is level sense to. This is post level sense to. This is level, negative level sense to. This is our input and this is output. Now let's see the timing diagram. This is clock which is going to both the latches and this is the input applied. So let's see at the positive cycle here. So whenever this is positive, whatever be the input, it propagates to the output, right? So whenever it is positive, Q1 will be getting this data. Whatever be the data here, Q1 will be getting it. So we got A and we also got B. And whatever be the data at the end of this posture level, that will continue till the next posture level. So at the end there is B. So it continues to the next posture level, right? So this data we got and the data present at the end will continue to the next posture level. Next. This latch is negative level triggered. So whenever it sees a negative level, whatever data is present at the input that is P2, that will propagate to the Q2, right? The data present at the input P2 is nothing but Q1, this data. So whenever the level is negative, whatever be the data at the Q1, that will go to Q, right? So here the level is negative the data at the Q1 is B. So Q2 will also see B. And it continues till next negative level. Understood, right? Indirectly what is happening? At the postural level, you are getting this P. But at the output, you are only getting this P during this transition. 
understood right because this is a negative level latch you will be able to see the p only while the clock is going from positive to negative so this is behaving as this is behaving as a negative edge trigger flip flop Understood, right? Similarly, here there is a positive level. So, what will be the output Q1? It will see C. I mean, it will see C. And here there is negative level. So, whenever there is negative, it will see the input Q1. So, during this transition, the output is getting C. Till this transition, Output is holding the previous value which it got here B. and during this negative edge it is getting C. So this is how we will build a flip flop using latches. I hope the concept is clear. You can draw your own timing diagram and practice one. Now I have explained you how to make a negative edge trigger flip flop using latches. Now the homework question is how do you make a positive edge trigger flip flop? So this is the homework question. Try to solve this and post your answer in the comment section. I will reply. And that's it guys see you with next question thank you